Fox, Jigglypuff, Falco, Marth, these are the characters that we normally see win trophies in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Whether piloted by the likes of Hungrybox, Leffen, Mango, etc., the top tier characters of Melee have dominated since the beginning of the competitive scene. But at Smash and Splash 5, Wizrobe did what seemed impossible. For the first time since 2005, Captain Falcon had won a major. 2019 was a quiet year for Wizrobe. Up until Gommel, Wizzy hadn't entered any Melee tournaments, and instead spent time brushing up on the newly released Ultimate. At Smash and Splash 5, Wizrobe entered for both Smash titles. On the Melee side of things, he had eased his way all the way to the winner's quarterfinals where he ran into his first real test in Leffen. Oh, oh, oh that's fine. He almost spot dodged his way into losers. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> yeah, for real. That's scary against Gommel. Yeah, right. Oh. Oh, oh, ah, Wizzy. oh. <laughs> and Wizzy! Wizzy with the three to one. To no real surprise, Wizrobe made top eight for Melee. But to the surprise of many, he also made top eight for Ultimate. There's the fourth throw off stage to jump. Directional air dodge, you can't make it back. What? Really? What? Again, fine. He has not been able to really get stationary on stage. And the Nair at the ledge clutches it out. This was a first. Never before had someone made the top eight of both Ultimate and Melee. And of course, Wizrobe was just getting started. Although his Ultimate run wouldn't go any further, Wizzy's Captain Falcon was cruising against Amsa. I think the biggest thing for Amsa at this point when he punishes Wizzy is to get that second tech chase. He'll hit him and then he can't get the second one. At least so far. Oh! Ooh, but Wizzy hit him with that Will of Fortune. Listen, strength, no weakness. Oh, he actually gets crossed up there. He's got to find his oh. way back. Oh, oh that's no. a heartbreaker. Wizrobe was now in winner's finals. And of course, Hungrybox and his puff would stand in Wizzy's way. However, no longer did the Jigglypuff main dominate this matchup. Back at Gommel, Wizzy notched a big win over Hbox. And clearly, that wasn't a fluke. Uh, Wizzy has been spacing everything perfectly so that he's never really a threat from up to, which is going to be the thing he's got. Got him! Can he get the kill though? No. Was he though? Oh, Arnie Fox, can he get the set guard? No! Wiz Robe was now sitting pretty on winner's side of grand finals. Meanwhile, Hungrybox took down Leffen to force a rematch. Hbox was looking at revenge, but Wiz Robe had eyes on history. <laughs> For a Ooh, second there, it looked like Hbox was, was throwing to his boy. Yo! Oh, got the actual tech Yo. chase. Yo! D-I-N. Oh my goodness, he's up to it. He's got the 30, hungry box? Let's see it. No way. Oh! oh. No, hungry box a little uh, jump shot oh, right now. Yeah. He doesn't have a lot. He's in the corner. But Wizzy has a lot of stage to play with. Oh, Return that's it! The knee. That's it! Yo, oh! 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 What was that? <laughs> This man Yo. has warrior blood in his veins and enemy blood all over Let's the stage. Wizrobe's win at Smash and Splash 5 was about more than just prize money and a trophy. For the first time since 2005, a Captain Falcon had won a major. It was a sign that Melee is still evolving and that Wizrobe was now one of the best players in the world.